Let's try out the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Wow, that is a mouthful. Hey my loves, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new powder foundation by Fenty Beauty. If you don't know, Fenty Beauty is created by the beautiful and talented Rihanna. So the foundation is called the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I was interested in trying it out because one, it's a powder foundation and typically with powder foundations, it's more for like your every day type of person maybe you're just going to work and you don't want to look tired and sleepy so you throw on a little layer of just a soft foundation just to wake yourself up a little bit and you are ready to go that's why i like powder foundations i picked the foundation up in the color 430 and it's really cute it comes in this white packaging and it says fenty beauty on the top and this is what the color ooh, is that my color according to sephora this foundation comes in 50 shades it's a light as air powder foundation that gives you light to full coverage with a soft matte finish. So let me zoom you guys in and let's get started. I think you guys are close enough. To start off, I am going to use a primer. When working with a powder foundation, I try not to use like um, too many liquidy type of products because it's a powder foundation, so when you put it on, it may it stuck to those wet areas. You want the foundation to be distributed on your face evenly, so you just don't want any patches of the powder. Usually when I'm putting on a foundation, that would be my next step, but this is a powder foundation, so I like to deal with all my wet products before I put on my dry products. So I'm going to start with putting on my concealer. And this concealer is also by Fenty Beauty. It is the Pro Filter Concealer in the color 420. I'm putting the concealer in all the places that I want to hide imperfections, such as dark circles and blemishes. And I am blending it out with a beauty sponge. The foundation powder is not a setting powder, so I'm going to use a setting powder to lock in that concealer. Alright, so now we are going to apply the foundation. It actually comes with its own little sponge. I'm not a fan of these because I just feel like they're so unsanitary. But I did see a video with Rihanna using this little sponge and then she also went in with one of her powder brushes. So I'm going to try and use the same technique that she did. So I guess we're going to just... See, I don't, see, that's the thing about these little sponges. It's not like picking up the product evenly, which makes me believe it's not going to go on my face evenly, but we shall see, right? I'm gonna start with just tapping it on. Okay, maybe I need to swipe. It seems a little bit on the red side. But it also, see the thing about these sponges is I feel like I don't have control over how much product I'm putting on my face. So maybe I don't want this much powder on my face right now, but I don't have control over that. So I'm just going to switch to a brush, <laughs> make my life easier. <laughs> and this is the type of brush I'm using. It's still condensed, so it's going to pick up a good amount of product but it's going to distribute on my face evenly and nicely. Yeah, that is much better. With the brush, the coverage is a lot lighter, but you can always build it up. So if you're a person who likes full-on glam, this foundation powder may not be for you unless you are using it on top of a liquid foundation just for like an extra layer of just perfection but if you are planning to use this for like glam i don't i don't see it working out that way i remember rihanna's very first foundation well fenty beauty's first foundation and 
it was the same like pro filter soft matte foundation but it was a liquid and it literally sucked the life out of my skin so I, I I'm truly not a fan of matte foundations let me just say that <laughs> so I'm looking at the foundation in the mirror it's definitely covering up my uh, blemishes nicely but you can still kind of see them all right so this is what the foundation is looking like um the color is nice you know what let's just add some bronzer i don't know what i was expecting from this maybe i should have given myself some expectations i know you didn't come here to see me put on like eyeshadow and highlighter and lip gloss so i'm going to do that off camera really quickly and i will come back with my final thoughts on this foundation here it is here is the foundation on my face <laughs> maybe i could zoom you guys in so you can see it up close so I always have the best expectations in mind. I am expecting it to work, especially when it's a brand that I know and trust. Fenty Beauty is definitely one of those brands. I use their products. Um, I use her matchsticks. I use her bronzer every single time I put on foundation. I use her concealer. I use her mascara. So I, I, I have her eyebrow pencil. I use a lot of Fenty Beauty products. So, oh, I almost forgot. I love her lip products. She has a uh, glosses she has lipsticks and I use them so whenever she's putting out new products I am inclined to try them because I genuinely like the brand and I like most of the products that she has so for me to go out and buy her powder foundation I didn't have to think twice about it I didn't have to question whether or not I should even try Fenty Beauty none of that because I am well acquainted with the brand so I can honestly say that this foundation, it it didn't do much for me. You know, I, I can tell it's a matte foundation. Um, I did put highlighter on just to kind of make my face look more alive, but I'm just not a fan of any matte foundation, matte complexion products, matte anything, even matte primers. It's a no for me. I don't want anything that's going to make my face dull and dry it out. I don't like it. As for the color, Fenty Beauty has never failed with that. There are 50 shades to choose from, and Fenty Beauty has been very inclusive when it comes to skin tones from the very first launch. So you're definitely going to find your shade in this foundation. So in my opinion, this foundation is for your everyday person who just wants a simple foundation to throw on. They also don't mind using matte products matte meaning the finish they don't mind it being um on the drier looking side overall this foundation did not do anything for me <laughs> well that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know if you've tried out this foundation and if you liked it let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content. And share this video with someone who enjoys Fenty Beauty and just beauty products in general. Share this video with them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.